All right, guys, today we're going to read, not read, we're going to sing a new one. It's called On Top of Spaghetti. Okay, and this poor boy sneezes, and look at, he does not know how to contain his sneeze, right? He's supposed to be going hachu in his elbow, but we're going to sing it anyway. Okay, here he goes. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I lost my poor meatball when somebody sneezed. There's the meatball. It rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled out of the door. There it goes. It rolled out the garden and under a bush. It's under a bush. Then my poor meatball was nothing but mush. The mush was as tasty as tasty could be. Nearly next summer, it grew into a tree. The tree was all covered with beautiful moss. It grew lovely meatballs and tomato sauce. Look at that. Have spaghetti all covered with cheese. Hold on to your meatballs and don't ever sneeze. You need to at you in your elbow these days, don't we? On top of spaghetti, that was very silly, huh? Very silly. Poor guy's sneezing and the meatballs are flying. That's kind of neat that he's growing the trees. Can that really happen? Yeah, right. Okay, let's do some counting. By uh, tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. How about by fives? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Great. And how about by ones? Why don't we start at 22? So 2, 22. And we'll count until we get to, let's say, 60 or 50. 60 or 60. I don't know. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Or you can cross your shoulders. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Great, we'll stop there. Okay, numbers, here we go. I got these cards today to go up to 30, okay? I got 30, 18, 1, 28, 16, 2, 27, 11, or 1 teen, right? 9, 24, 2 teen, or 12, 3, 29, 14, 8, 23, 19, 4, 25, 17, 7, 26, 3, 18, 5, 22, 20, 10, 21, 15 and 9. All right, great. All right, today you guys are still working um, with your 3D solid shapes and your 2D flat shapes. So let's just review what is what, okay, and what those certain shapes do, those 3D shapes, okay? So these are called, I have them all cut out on paper, these are our flat shapes, right? They're really easy to draw on paper. You can draw a circle on paper really easily. Or what shape is this? 
square, right? We draw that easily on paper. We got our rectangle. You can draw that easily on tape paper. And then I have triangles. You know, it doesn't matter which way they are as long as they have three sides, right? Three vertices, it's a triangle, okay? So these are called flat shapes. See how flat it is? Flat shapes, okay? I can't really hold a flat shape in my hand. I mean, I can hold cutouts of flat shapes in my hands, but I can't really hold them in the hand versus these, right? So this I can hold right there in my hand, okay? And this shape is called a, right, a cube, okay? And this is a solid figure, okay? It's a solid figure versus a uh, flat, okay? These are solid shapes and these are flat shapes, all right? So this is a solid shape and it's a cube. And then we've got a, I found a new one today, Padres, ooh, got from a Padres game down in San Diego, right? Yeah, so this is a sphere, right? S f ear, s f ear, sphere, okay? A sphere, all right, and that's another solid shape. And then I found a different type of, yes, cylinder, right? It has a circle here, circle on this side, and then it, roll, it can roll, right? It's rolly, it's rounded, see how it's rounded? Okay, so that's a cylinder. And then we have, oh, what's the last shape? Which one are we missing? I put it in a little plastic baggie. Yes, we have our cone, like for an ice cream cone, right? And this one has that circle here on the bottom, right? Okay, now one of the questions on, uh, or one of the papers, your papers are today are talking about whether these shapes can slide, stack, or roll, okay? So if we take a look at, let's say we take a look at the cube. Okay, I'm gonna get, grab my numbers here. Can a cube roll? Can it roll? Hmm, no, why? Right, because it doesn't, it's not rounded anywhere. It's all flat, has all flat sides. So this one cannot roll. Can it stack? Yes, it can stack, why? Because it has the flat sides, right? We could put, you know, five Rubik's cubes in, on top of each other, right? And stack them all up. It could stack really easily. Can it slide? Let's see. Just like you go down the slide at school, I can slide this across my number cards here. So yes, it can slide. The only thing it can't do is it can't roll. All right, let's take a look at another solid shape or 3D shape, and that would be our sphere. Now, can the severe sphere slide? No, why? Right, it has no flat sides. It cannot slide. How about, can it stack? If I put it on here, can it stack? No, it can't. Why again? There's no flat sides like the cube. Even if I try to stack on top of the cube, right? It just falls off. So I cannot stack the, whoops, I cannot stack the sphere. But what can I do with the sphere? Yes, I could roll it to my friend, right? It rolls all day long. Why? Because it's all round, okay? So this solid shape, the only thing it can do is roll. It cannot stack and it cannot slide. Because why? No flat sides. Great, you got it. All right, and then how about, let's go back to our cylinder. Yes, can a cylinder stack? Well, let's see. Sure can, can I stack it this way? Sure can, why? Yeah, it's got that flat side. Has that two flat sides, right, on it? Uh, can it um, slide? Yeah, look at that, why again? It has that flat side. It's quite slide it across the papers, right? Can it roll? It can, watch. Right, it can roll, why? Because it's rounded. So it can stack, it can roll, and it can also slide, okay? All right, and the last one we have is our cone, okay? Can the cone stack? Well, let's grab that cylinder back here. Let's see if I can stack it on top of the cylinder. Aha, uh -huh, I can, why? Yes, because it has one flat side on it. That flat side, that's a circle, I can stack it. Can I slide it? Well, if it has that flat side, I can slide it because it has that flat side. Does it roll? Well, it's not gonna roll like the cylinder does, but watch how this one rolls. See if I can show it to you on the screen. It rolls, let me see if I can do it. It rolls, sure it rolls, look at that. Oops, okay, let me try it again. But it can roll, I don't wanna break it. It can roll because it is rounded. 
See how that part's round? So that part can roll. If I had a bigger piece of paper, you'd see that it rolls right in a circle, but it does roll. So it can roll, stack, and slide. This one, roll, stack, and slide. The cube can not roll, it can stack, and it can also slide, see? There we go. And last but not least, our sphere, and it can just roll. Oh, now that's a mess. It can only roll though, huh? Because no flat sides. Okay. All right. You got it. That's it. Well, happy Tuesday once again. Enjoy your tacos tonight if you're having Taco Tuesday. And uh, we'll see you for Wednesday. You want to come join me? Come see me at 12 o'clock. We're doing office hours. If you want to go over homework. And if you would like to see your friends and just say hi to everybody, which is kind of fun to catch up with people and see what they're doing. Uh, you can come see me at, or us at, 1 o'clock, okay? From 1 to 1.30. Between 12 and 1, drop in any time, okay? You want to. You don't have to be there the full hour. You just want to drop in and go over maybe just one part of your homework, or if you want to read us a book or something, that's the time to do that between 12 and 1, okay? All right. It's good to see everybody. Thanks for coming back and joining me, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Take care. Bye.